Hello again, Fairy Warriors. This is Tori's the Warrior, and this is Rage Talk number 10. And today we are going to talk a little bit about 5.3, and we're also going to talk about one of my favorite add ons, which is Weak Auras. So the 5.3 changes for DPS Warriors. That's easy, because they didn't change anything, which to me is fine. I really like the way Arms and Fury are both playing right now, so I'm totally cool with them pretty much leaving it alone. I think we're in a good spot as far as damage. I think we play fairly well right now. So our rotation, our gemming, are all the same as they were in 5.2. In fact, I've taken the 5.2 guide and I've just put 5.3 next to it in parentheses, so hopefully people can find it that way if they're looking for any updates on Fury. There are, however, a few un-warrior specific things that they did change that you should really be looking into, and the most notably is they brought back the item level upgrading. And now they only cost 250 Valor points instead of 750 that they cost before, so I really recommend going out and at least upgrading your weapons. Uh, if you've got any items that are like Thunderforge Heroic or really good or you don't think you're going to replace them in a while, go ahead and upgrade those, but regardless of where your weapons are at, I recommend upgrading them just because since it only costs 250 Valor Points and you can get a thousand in a week, that means even if you did upgrade both of your weapons fully, costing you a thousand points, and then you got two new weapons, you can then upgrade them again with the Valor Points you got that week. So you should definitely upgrade your weapons because weapons are the single most important thing to our Warrior DPS. Alright, so I've gotten a lot of people asking me about a few of my add-ons, and I'm going to go over one that I think is the most important, and that is Weak Auras. Now, Weak Auras works kind of like if you've used Power Auras or Tell Me When before, and that is it just gives you little visual reminders on your screen to help you with things. So I have a Weak Aura that helps me keep track of my Rage. So when my Rage gets to 80, this icon pops up in the center here, letting me know that I need to use a Heroic Strike. If I keep letting it go, say I use a Bloodthirst there, and I get to above 110, this bigger icon shows up letting me know that I need to Heroic Strike probably a couple of times. And that just helps me know when to Heroic Strike without having to stare at my Rage Bar the entire time. Another thing it will do in that same sort of area is that when I hit Colossus Smash, it'll show me a timer letting me know that I should, again, be Heroic Striking to take advantage of Colossus Smash. Weak Auras can really help you specifically improve your game, because you can pick anything you're having trouble with. Say you're having trouble using your recklessness on cooldown. I have a Weak Aura here on the side for recklessness, so I know when that where recklessness is off cooldown without having to look at my bars, and then I can use my recklessness when I need to. Now when you have Weak Auras, you type slash WA, and it gives you all these different options to make your own weak ores. And I highly recommend messing around with these and finding out uh, some weak ores to help you remind yourself on anything you're having trouble with. Another cool thing about weak ores is that if I take this weak aura here, so my Heroic Strike one, the one that has the weak aura for having high rage, having really high rage, and having a Colossus smash up, I can right click this one and I can click Export to String, and it gives me this giant wall of text that I can hit Control c to copy this giant wall of text and then when I go to my weak orders, if I click new, say if I was to paste that to a forums you guys could then copy it and then you can click import and then you can click Control v to paste that into your weak orders, and then you'd have the exact same weak aura that I have. Now that's just two types of weak orders: the timer that I have for Colossus Smash the icons that show up when I have things off of cooldown or if I have charges. The icon that shows up when I have high resources. There's also a few other kinds. For example, if I use a Colossus Smash and it doesn't crit, my Berserker Rage will light up, letting me know that I need to use that Berserker Rage to take advantage of my Colossus Smash. And it only shows up if I'm not already enraged. And is what you would do for that, say you copied that weak aura and you imported it, you would go to, you'd click the Enrage weak aura, and then you would go to the Actions tab, 
and right here you would click choose and you'd click choose and you would just click on whatever button you have Berserker Rage on so you'd have that one light up and you can make your own weak aura to light up any button that you want to light up when you want it to light up and you can set your parameters and your triggers for that so here it's when I don't have, I have it set so when I don't have an enrage and I do have Colossus Smash up that it will trigger I also have that set so it only reads my Colossus Smash. Now I can take it off so it reads anyone's Colossus Smash, although there wouldn't be a reason for Colossus Smash to do that since it only affects you. But if I have something like Skull Banner that affects everyone, I have this icon here, this little 3D thing on my left that shows up whenever anyone in my raid throws down a Skull Banner. And that's really useful in raids with more than one warrior so you know that you're not overlapping your Skull Banners. But that's all I wanted to talk about in this Rage Talk. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and if any of this was out of context or you don't understand what's going on as far as Fury Warriors are concerned, definitely go watch my How to Play a Fury Warrior 5.2 parentheses 5.3 DPS guide. It will tell you everything you need to know to play a Fury Warrior. And I will see you guys next week.